think everybody thinks Davis is getting it. He does off the right side. He's got the first down. Earl Anderson now 12 carries, 52 yards on the ground. Lee spins and is dropped at the 23 yard line. Oris Lambert. Lee spins again and dropped at the 21 yard line. Oris Lambert again, his second sack of this. Six and a half minutes to about five. Here's Dacus Terman in the open field down to the 43 yard line. And I was going to say that the Gamecocks need to keep the ball on the ground and have a substantial drive four or five minutes. Because it's I, I really like that style of play. Incomplete and a flag comes in late. D Webb on the coverage of Sidney Rice again. Rice got up immediately and <laughs> said there's got to be a flag and it. Took a moment or two, but one finally came. Their breath on this one. And it sneaks in the left upright from 37 yards. So a 30 to 19 game and 11 points. South Carolina lead with 9 0 in this game. And it is dead solid perfect. That'll make it an eight point game with just under three minutes to play. Six minutes. Here's the onside kick. Kenny McKinley falls on top of it rather easily. So South Carolina will have it. Mike Davis on the carry. So that'll bring up a fourth down. Jarvis Moss with the tackle and they will uh, wait for them to start the play clock as the game clock is at 135. And I wonder if you just run the clock all the way down, maybe call a timeout with one second left on that play clock. But then you then you take your punt team and you say, okay, do not get this thing blocked. Make sure you got a safe Catch snap. called for by Chad Jackson at the 24-yard line. One minute to play. 60 seconds for the Gators. And here comes a late flag at the 32 on the other side of the field. How about 12 men on the uh, on the return? Remember you oh thought, my God! Was that what it was, or perhaps sidelines? Here's Rocky Good. Or now he's going to confer with the rest of the crew because it, if this is against the Gators, they better get this one oh. right. Well, when you see that flag come down over there, Dave, I'm just wondering. You remember you talked about the confusion on the punt return? Did they have 12 men out there, or did was it a sideline infraction? I can't imagine sideline. Well, it was a late flag. Yeah. It, I mean, both teams are Florida sending their offense onto the field. Gamecock sending their defense onto the field. Well, this crew is uh, Rocky Good leading the charge, our referee today. And, you know, I don't blame him for talking this one over. Get it right with 60 seconds to go in a one score game. Dave, you know what? Legal participation, 12 men on the field against the defense. Penalties 15 yards from the previous spot. That's your ball game. And that is your ball game right there. Dave, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Where's 12? I saw 42. <laughs> right in the middle is 42. I think it's oh, right there. Yep. Yeah. 12 men on the field. Holy cow. Unbelievable. An unbelievable finish to this football game. Penalties have decimated Florida. That's their 11th penalty of the afternoon. I remember Steve Spurrier saying if we could beat one of the big three that he talked about, and they did with Tennessee, Dave, now they've beaten Florida. Florida had the football in the second half for almost 20 minutes. But they trail by eight, and there's nothing they can do to stop this clock. Folks, it has been 66 years since South Carolina has knocked off Florida. Going back to 1939, they have lost 14 straight, including a 37 to nothing loss to Florida when Steve Spurrier was quarterback. And as the coach has said time and time again, 
This is a program that is having a lot of firsts this year. And you can put this one right up there among the top. And as you look at the SEC Eastern Division standings with this game now, South Carolina actually stays in the SEC Eastern Division race. But they will need Georgia to lose to Auburn tonight and then to Kentucky next week for that to happen. That is the ball game. The South Carolina Gamecocks have given Steve Spurrier his first victory as a head coach against his alma mater, where he won a Heisman in 1966 in a national championship in 1996. And the Carolina fans are going crazy in williams Bryce Stadium. Super and uh, offense made some plays, made a lot of plays. Just a good team victory. We yeah. tried to downplay those emotions all week long, but it had to be tough yeah. for you. Yeah, I didn't look across the sideline much today. I was just calling ball plays. But a great win for our players and our, our school here. And South Carolina hadn't had much to yell about. So it's a wonderful day for Carolina. You got them yelling now. Congratulations, Thank Steve. you. Thank all you. All right. See you. Boy, it's a uh, good day to be a Gamecock if you're a Gamecock fan. This is one of those games, over 83,000 packed into this 80,000-seat stadium to watch this one. It was everything we expected and probably a little bit more. South Carolina wins it by...